everybody, what's up and welcome back to Baby Ever 100. I'm Abby, this is Stella and Lily Ann. Today, we are getting comfy, look at us! I love the background, isn't that so cute? We're gonna be looking at some unpopular Baby Live opinions. I asked some of my followers on Instagram, follow me on Instagram by the way because I do a bunch of really fun stuff there. Let's just hop right into this, haha, <laughs> get it because of the background, and uh, let's see what we have to talk about today. I'm excited. All right, let's go ahead and sip some of this water. We're gonna pretend it's tea because it's pretty juicy, right? So our first unpopular opinion, the new Better Now Baileys, and especially the dance class doll, are much cuter than the OG Better Now Bailey. That is, wow, that actually is a pretty hot take. My opinion about it? Oh, I don't know. I'm definitely gonna make a video about this in the future because this is a very interesting subject because all the dolls are like the same, but they come with different accessories, different outfits. So like they're different at the same time. I'll admit I do have all of them. So please don't <laughs> count me into this. I kind of agree with you. The better, the first Better Now Bailey was made all the way in 2014, I'm pretty sure, or at least way back there in some point. So I do kind of agree that they have like, even if they have kind of similar accessories, the outfits are much better on the dance class doll and the new Better Now Bailey. And I just really like the aesthetic of them overall compared to the older one. So I do kind of agree with you, but at the same time, the original Better Now Bailey is a classic. Like you could never go wrong with that doll. It is iconic. It is classic in the community, so I... Uh, do I think she's better? I feel like they have different reasons for why they're better. I, d I don't know. Yeah, I, I kind of, um, I'm on two sides on that one, but that's a good opinion. I have been actually wanting to talk about this one. Learns to potty isn't all that great. Yes, okay? People need to understand that just because she is older does not mean that she is superior compared to the newer dolls. There are a lot of dolls that are so much better than her, okay? But I will say she is iconic, she is classic, and she has a really cool feature of like, well, I mean, the Potty Dance doll also has that feature. The Potty Dance doll is basically the newer version of the Learns to Potty. I agree with you 100%. Just because she's that popular does not mean she is good, does not mean she's worth thousands of dollars, okay? It just frustrates me so much that people just immediately think that this doll is the best, that this doll is better because they see her everywhere and that she's such a classic, iconic doll. But like there are so many dolls out there that are way better than her, that have far better accessories. And not to mention that doll is like, 10 years old so she's not gonna be the best in mechanics and stuff anyway so there are far better dolls that you can get out there by the way if you're looking for a doll similar to that get the potty dance doll actually because she is a really nice upgrade that was a really good opinion let's see what the next one is oh it's similar okay uh next one I don't really like the bigger dolls, like the 2006 Softface and Snacking Sarah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought about this a lot while making, while coming up with this video. Like, I was like, wow, the bigger dolls are not as good. The smaller dolls are really nice size, like these ones. They're really nice size, really holdable. I think they're like 12 inch, I'm pretty sure. I don't know at this point, but they just, they and they come in like a lot of variety. Honestly, if you're looking for a doll, just get 12 inch. I do not recommend Happy Hungry, Snack and Sarah, the old ones as we discussed. Like, I would rather you would just get one of these smaller dolls because they are smaller for one and they have really good features for being really small dolls you know and a lot of them come with really cute accessories so do your shopping do your research next opinion the 2019 to 2020 dolls were actually okay especially the 2019 ones honestly yeah <laughs> i'm agreeing with all of these this is really interesting i think 2019 to 2020 is when hasbro finally like slowed down of making 
you know, unique designs compared to their dolls. Magical Mixer was in 2019, at the very end of 2019. I don't hate all of them which is uh which is rare for me i do think this was kind of when they stopped making like newer designs each time like they've used this mold three times now for three different dolls they've just kind of gotten lazy at this point and that was when they kind of started slowing down with that um so that was like the last of their newer designs i i think i agree with you they were actually okay <laughs> that's like the best definition for them because a lot of them weren't great you know they didn't have great accessories the mix my medicine pajamas are terrible they do not fit any other dolls and they're just really thin yeah i mean there were some aspects of those dolls that were good new refreshing but there's also a lot that you know were reused or sloppy or just you know they didn't have time like this that's when they started becoming lazy with it so you can't really blame them they were, they were like in the middle of the era so yeah the 2019 ones were really good though yeah magical mixer makes my medicine those were really unique refreshing uh new food packets new like accessories and stuff like those were really good i can't tell if this person is being serious <laughs> Um, Love and Snuggles 2013 is the best doll. <laughs> uh, you guys know what kind of doll this is, right? It's this one. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I actually kind of agree with you. Um, okay. She's not the best doll in the world, but she is way high up there. She is one of the best soft body dolls. I will say that for sure. I think she actually is the best soft body doll. She is just at a really nice position. She like lays down like this. Oh, she's such a good doll. And her bottle, uh, it doesn't have an opening at the top, so I use it for role plays all the time. It's just really cheap, but really good doll, honestly. I am kind of sad I messed up her hair with Sharpie because or else I would use her a lot more. She's just a really nice starter doll, okay? And really nice for younger kids. Okay. Next opinion. This person kind of worded it weirdly, so I'm gonna, like, try to change it to a way that makes sense. The Baby Alive Gotta Bounce, new, the new one, can break easily. I, I don't have this doll, so I can't really prove it, uh, but let me know in the comments if you have this doll. I think she's from... Was she from 2019? She looks like she's from 2019. Yeah. Plastic hair dolls are sometimes better than real hair dolls. Honestly, I kind of agree. Real hair dolls are kind of annoying sometimes. And uh, especially, I've had so many problems where I've just... Or so many times where I've just wanted to cut off all the hair because it's so annoying. And you have to like place it just right or else it will mess up completely. I think the plastic hair dolls have such a permanent like cute hairstyle most of the time that it's easy to like them more. So yeah, I think some are better than real hair dolls but also I just love hairstyling them. Like sometimes it's just so fun to try out new hairstyles although I do not want to mess up their beautiful hair sometimes. Like it is fun to try out new hairs, hairstyles and stuff, and that's why I really enjoy the cute hairstyles. That's why it's such an iconic doll. But yeah, I do agree sometimes plastic hair dolls are better, and sometimes they just have cuter hairstyles. This one's actually really interesting. It's easier to thrift a doll than to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think some for most dolls, yeah. But if you're looking to get all the accessories, which I mostly sometimes am, uh, yeah, it is kind of it can be tricky to get all the accessories. I've ha I have a lot of thrift dolls that I do not have the accessories for, or at least all of them. Some, if I'm lucky, they come with their original outfit, but most of the time they do not. It, like even that. So yeah, it's it's kind of. It's a really rough spot there. Some dolls you can thrift and get a really good score on. Others, it's pretty unlucky. They get pretty messed up by children or they just don't come with the accessories that you want them to. That's why I really wanted to buy the fairy tale doll 
because she has such cute accessories. I've seen her in stores a few times, but I just, I can't look my, I can't get myself to buy her because I want all of her accessories. Okay, last one. The smaller mini dolls are actually so cute. Yeah, I think so. Depends on which ones though, because the little sounds and the little sips are really cute, but the plastic ones, I have a little bit of a hatred for, even though they are really cute. I love, I love the mini. I love the mini ones. They're just so cute and like holdable. So yeah, that's all of the unpopular opinions. Comment down below any you have because I'm really curious. Let's talk about it together. This was such a fun video to make. Maybe I'll do a part two one day, actually. That would be really fun. But thank you guys for sending in your unpopular opinions. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys had a lot of fun in this video. And I'll see you next week for another new video. Yay! Have a great rest of your week. Have a great rest of your day, all right? I'll see you later. Bye!